One topic that I find quite fascinating is that whole notion of expectations for men and expectations for women and things that we view as manly and things that we view as feminine, rah 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 Yeah, a lot of things have changed over the years, but some haven't at all. And I cry easily. <laughs> I cry at the drop of a hat. I'm quite a sensitive guy. I just am. I'm totally at peace with that though and yeah, I don't think it makes me unmanly. In fact, I think it requires a lot of strength, which is seen as a manly quality, to be sensitive despite society's expectations to be otherwise. So, how's that for a paradox? Um, <clears throat> the reason I'm thinking about this is that I spoke to my dad today, it's his birthday, I called him to wish him a good one and he was telling me about this film that he had gone to see and um, he was like it was amazing, you know, you should totally go see it, rah 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 and then, he, then after he had <laughs> raved about it and told me to go see it, he was like, oh but it's really sad, like you should take lots of tissues, I cried from start to finish but... and I just thought, wow, how wonderful is this, that he's a sensitive guy, he's quite comfortable with being that way and I'm a sensitive guy, he's quite comfortable with me being that way and here he is recommending to his son to uh, go watch a sad film and take lots of tissues. Yeah, men are probably not the target market for that film, but there's always going to be some men who love that kind of thing, right? I don't think we should be seen as unmanly. That's just the way I feel about it. But. There are other people who feel that way too. My dad's one of them. And I just feel blessed to have him as a father. How many dads are there that recommend to their sons to go see sad films and cry? <laughs> yeah, too few.